here in a kind of a PTA sort of a uh, configuration that um, it would be okay if I talked a little bit about where the songs come from and uh, things like that. Is that cool? Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna do a song now off a uh, off a record that um, I wrote uh, in the summer of 2008. And if you reach back, you'll remember that 2008 was pretty much uh, the summer where the bottom fell out of the wet sack of the American economy. And um, anyway, I'd written these songs and, and I guess I just had left the window open and, and, and this stuff kind of worked its way into the record. And I got this idea that I would record um, outside of the country. and. Um, so, uh, I had a friend who was living down in Mexico City, and I uh, went down and visited him, and we went looking for a recording studio. And after about three days of uh, coming up short, we did find a place, and it was really mind-blowing to walk into this place. It was like, um, it was, it was kind of like walking into this place. It was like, it was like a totally state-of-the-art place at one time. And, uh, and we think that time may have been around the time of the uh, Eisenhower administration. But we can't be totally sure. And I mean that as a good thing. And so uh, I knew it was perfect. I went back to San Francisco. I got some musicians. I printed up some IOUs and, and contracts at Kinko's told them how it was all going to work out, and we went down there, and um, anyway, within about three days of arriving, um, uh, we started hearing about this thing called the swine flu. Do you remember that? Yeah, the outbreak down there. So it was like the Black Plague had come to Mexico City, and my ego, I had to go down there and do something different, and um, it was rough, you know, but um, I think it kind of brought us together, and... Uh, and it turns out that that old equipment also needed a lot of love, and that was rough too. And there's another thing I could never have predicted about going to Mexico City to make a record, and that is that the power routinely goes out about eight or nine times a day. So, you know, we'd be in the middle of a beautiful just take, and then the power would go out, you know. I started getting kind of uptight, you know. And uh, I actually went into the office and I, I talked to the studio manager, and I said, and I said, uh, I don't know if you know what's going on in there, you know, senor, but we're trying to make a record, you know what I mean? <laughs> and the power keeps going out, you know? It's kind of hard, he goes. And right then, you know, of course the power just comes back on, he says, really, he's back on now. <laughs> well, that's true, but I'm still trying to think of a comeback for that. <laughs> anyway. Got out of there with an album called Let Freedom Ring. I might have a couple of them later. And this is the uh, title track, and hopefully it won't take nearly as long to play as it did introduce. So just <laughs> work with me. Mark. 
buckets and let them run wild as the sisters of mercy just laugh and all the lost brothers can drink themselves blind while good fortune breaks hard work in half let them have Mercedes and a house at the beach sit by the pool and get high raise a cool bottle to the heavens above while the creatures struggle in the tide and let freedom Freedom.